This is George back with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast, helping new hunters get started and helping active hunters learn new things. If you asked a lot of hunters, why do you hunt deer? They would reply with one word, jerky. So today we are gonna talk about a deer jerky recipe and not just any deer jerky recipe, but a bourbon barbecue deer jerky recipe. Now this thing is fast, it's simple, and it's almost impossible to mess up. Let's dive right in. First things first, we gotta get our meat out. And of course we're shooting this outside because the lighting inside is terrible. And today we have a venison bottom round roast. Now, if you're not familiar with the bottom round, this is the leanest, most fibrous part of the leg. It's the least tender, which makes it for all various reasons, the single best cut for jerky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this into about a quarter inch slices. We wanna go across against the grain. And you know, if you go a little thinner, that's okay. If you go a little thicker, that's okay. Thinner means it'll take a little less time to cook. Thicker means it'll take a little more to, to dehydrate rather. Now I'm slicing this frosty. I took this out and put it in the fridge from the freezer for one night. Normally, if you're gonna cook this, you'd let it thaw for two or three nights. I th did one night. You can see here, it's still kinda, <clears throat> it's still kinda frosty in there. And that makes it so, so much easier to cut. All right, now we've got it all sliced up. So we're just gonna spread it out some. And all this is gonna do is just give it a few minutes to, to warm up and thaw out a little bit as we go ahead and get our sauce ready. For our sauce, we are gonna start with a barbecue sauce base, or marinade rather. So we're gonna use Sweet Baby Ray's as our base, but you can use any barbecue sauce you like. We're gonna add some ketchup to that. Nice big old squirts. Get that in there. Next, we're gonna pour in some Worcestershire sauce. You know, very scientific here. A couple tablespoons, maybe two or three. Then we pour in our bourbon. Now you can use any bourbon, whiskey, similar beverage of your choice. Do you have to use bourbon? Absolutely not. Uh, if you're not gonna use bourbon though, I would probably omit the next ingredient, which is the brown sugar. Pour that in there. Next we'd go with our black pepper and get a good bunch of black pepper in there. Gotta have it. Our salt couple teaspoons of salt. You could use less. Keep in mind though that there are no preservatives in this dish. Granulated garlic, not garlic powder, although it would work as a substitute in a pinch. So we got our granulated garlic, about that much. Onion powder, good chunk of onion powder in there. Some oregano. And then of course we got to have some cayenne for Chef John, but it really does go well with this and gives it just that extra warmth. Now we gotta stir it up, get everything mixed in there, really good together. And this may even be too much marinade. I might've gone a little heavy on the barbecue sauce, but it'll be fine at the end of the day. We may need a bigger bowl, but we'll figure that out. So once you get that well incorporated, then it is time for the meat. We got everything set here. Now guys, just look at these cuts. I mean, you could cook these in a hundred different ways. You can make little steaks out of them. You could cook them in a pan. If you cook these to medium or less, they would be super tender, super delicious. But like I said, I think in jerky is where they come, to, they come into their own. So we're gonna throw all these into the, into the marinade here, and then we're just gonna toss it around, get everything well incorporated. Now you gotta keep in mind here, all you need to do is make sure the marinade is touching every piece of meat. It, it doesn't matter so much that it's fully submerged. You get the marinade on the meat, make sure that it's touching, and that's all you really need. Just keep it in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to refrigerate this at least overnight. I guess you could do four to six hours as a minimum. We're gonna do overnight, could be over two nights. I wouldn't go much more than two. I don't think it gets any better if you go more than one night, but sometimes you're just not ready for the next step the next day, so it ends up sitting in the fridge. 
And that's it. That's all we got to do. We're just going to put a piece of plastic wrap over this, throw it in the fridge, and then we'll get to the next step tomorrow. All right, guys, now we've had this and chilling in the fridge for a couple of days. I wanted to do 24 hours, but just got a little busy. So we're going to take it out. All we're going to do is shake off the excess. We're not going to wipe it. We're not going to do anything like that at all. It's just not necessary. Just trying to find big pieces here. And we're just going to, whatever doesn't fall off can stay on. Now, like I mentioned in the before, if you guys use less marinade, the only thing that's going to change is you might have to stir it once during that time that it's in the fridge. But we had way too much here, so everything is just well coated. Now, our goal here is just to keep the things from touching and uh, fill in any little spots with little pieces that we can. That looks pretty good. Slide another tray on top here and just keep going. You don't got to worry too much about there being too much marinade. That's just going to turn into delicious caramelized flavor at the end of the day with this thing. And of course, I will put the ingredient amounts down below in the description or estimates. Uh, as you guys could tell, you know, being precise here on the ingredients is not that necessary. Getting all of them or most of them is the number one thing. We've got four trays here this filled up. I had one more tray, but we didn't need it. People ask, what kind of dehydrator do you have? I don't even know what the brand is on this one, guys. My sister got it for me as a Christmas present. And uh, looks like your standard plastic works good dehydrator. So put that on there. Put the lid on top. Plug this thing in, and we're going to set it on high for about four to six hours, and we'll probably flip them halfway through. All right, guys, we took a little longer than four to six hours because I sliced these pieces a little too thick or way too thick, but here is our finished product. Take a look at that. I mean, just gorgeous looking. The flavor in this, let's go ahead and take a bite. All right, here's to it. Mm. Guys, I'm absolutely astounded at how many of the flavors that you can taste here. That bourbon, that little bit of heat, the sweetness from the sugar, the all the different herbs and spices and the, just that hint of Worcestershire sauce. Man, it all comes through. It is deli I could eat a pound of that. Just that, ooh, that little bit of heat that just adds some warmth in the back of your mouth when you're when you're chewing it from the cayenne. Guys, you got to try this. You can't mess it up. Like I said, mine took a little longer. Had to go overtime on it. But all you do is you just keep looking at it and one till it's till it's done. And that's it. That's all you can do. There's no way to mess this up. You can vary the ingredient amounts. You can vary the cooking time. You can vary the thickness. At the end of the day, as long as it's dry enough, it is going to be outstanding. So I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you head to the website, newhuntersguide.com. Got lots more videos, recipes, podcasts, everything. You name it, hit that thumbs up button. Really appreciate you guys. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.